Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sheep Get Sheared podcast, home of people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, Austin Creed. My friends, we're going to really break down the popular culture aspect of today's show. You know, I can't help but ask myself, as I look out on the internet, as I look out in real in the real world, I can't help but ask myself this one simple question. Are relationships ruined? I look at my grandmother, God rest her soul, in my grandfather's relationship. When back when I was a kid, I looked at my parents' relationships, I looked at my parents' friends, my friends' parents, and I came to this notion as a kid of what a relationship should be. And apparently, I'm not alone. If I look at so if I look at the normie dating sites, right, they say, oh, this is what a boyfriend should be, this is what men should be like to their girls, all that kind of stuff. They have a list, actually, so-called, that's 60 traits to be a good boyfriend. So here's what they won't tell you when it comes to what you need to be to be a boyfriend. Number one, you need to be attractive. Number two, you need to have money. Number three, you need to be over six feet. Like, they won't tell you the things that actually matter. No, they'll tell you the stuff that actually is the, the icing on the cake and the cherry on the icing, but they won't tell you what the cake actually needs to be made of. Now, I'll read you something here. Number one thing they tell you to do to be a, a good boyfriend, share your thoughts with your girlfriend. In other words, tell your girlfriend everything so she can then leverage it against you if she ever sees the need do so. Treat her like a lady. In other words, treat her with chivalry. Even if she's a total straggle and dresses like a hooker, you need to treat her like a lady. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, number three, be exciting and fun. In other words, entertain her because you have nothing better to do with your life than be a dancing monkey or a jester. Number four, be romantic. Again, go out of your way to treat her good, but there's nothing here about her treating you well. Bragging about her on social media, they say. Uh, handing her roses. You know, the shit that the Pookie, Tyrone, and Chad, they didn't have to do any of that, but you have to. Now, I realize I'm jumping straight down the throat of the beast into its belly, but let's back up a second. Let's, let's back up. I'm getting a little too heavy too quick. What inspired this? Well, number one, number one thing that inspired this was the story about how anime girlfriends are just taking off. Apparently, men are finding anime girlfriends. Now, I'm not making this up. I am not making this up. As much as you might wish I was, I am the friends, even as I am recording this, my computer basically just crashed. So, I'm actually, in correction, my internet just got crashed. I don't know if... I don't know if the New World Order's after me or what. They don't want me talking about this. Apparently, this challenges... This challenges the system too much. So, the story that got my attention was... The anime girlfriend trend on TikTok, apparently, is getting substantial traction. And people are turning not just to, like, Japanese anime. I'm talking... People are literally creating fake girlfriends on the internet, and then they're treating them like they treat an actual girlfriend. I'm not making this up. And then it rises the question of, will these like AI women replace flesh and blood women? Of course it's possible. Of course it's possible. Because, number one, women's standards are too damn high and number two most men don't have ambition and they want women you know i actually have a decent amount of sympathy for women in this regard there are a lot of men out here who think that because they have a schmendrick between their legs that they're owed a woman they think that because they are a man they're owed a woman no my friends that's false in fact there's this new thing you know, a guy that is somewhat current, you know, Charles Darwin wrote about this theory of evolution, natural selection, and all that. Yeah, if you don't understand that 
If you're not out here competing, if you're not out here trying to become the best, if you just want to be Joe Schmo and be nobody, Mr. Nobody, then expect no results. Expect nothing. Zero. So I don't blame the women for having standards. I blame the dudes for for sitting around complaining instead of actually wanting to better themselves. Now, that being said, there is a difference between wanting better than average than wanting Mr. Impossible, Mr. Impossible Man. We've gone from women wanting Mr. Incredible to Mr. Impossible. Back in the day, the people, women wanted a guy who was, you know, as the good, best guy they could get, Mr. Incredible. Now they want Mr. Impossible. They want Mr. I have six pack abs and am tall and Mr. Chad McChannington, but I'm also sensitive and I care about your feelings and, and whatnot. They want the nurturing guy, but the masculine guy. They want the guy who's going to assert his dominance, but also will cuddle with her in bed and, tell, and ask her about her day and her problems. Again, this is what I'm talking about. We've gone from wanting Mr. Incredible to Mr. Impossible. And that's why I ask, are relationships ruined? Now, for those of you, I'm going to give you the 14 things that women find physically attractive in men. Because here's the deal. All right, let's cut through the garbage and the BS. When I bring up a list of 60 things to be the perfect boyfriend, what they are not going to tell you is... What you even need to qualify to be a boyfriend. What you even need to get in the door. So here's number one thing that women are posed, supposedly are attracted to. And yes, this is written by a woman named Sophie Stenhouse. Number one, tallness. It says every woman loves tall men, ideally six feet and over. Wow, shocking. Uh, they say eyes, hair, clothes, a smile. What is what is with these four things being towards the top, and then things like a good jawline, um, uh, six pack, pecs, biceps, shoulders, forearms, and a good back? Why are all those things at the bottom? And then things like tattoos, hygiene, smile, clothes, and all that stuffs towards the top answer because they don't want to seem like bad people that's why they don't want to give you too much reality at once because you, you're liable to freak out on them and you know what I understand that but gentlemen relationships are largely ruined because you pushed out instead of holding the line like a man you pushed out you simped out you gumped out and you decided to just pander to women because you couldn't stand actually becoming a better man, you had to find someone who liked you for you. You know, I'm convinced that men are the real romantics out here. Of course, there are women who like romance novels. I mean, that's why the romance genre exists in the first place is for women, because romantic novels for women are just like what pornography is for men, in case you didn't know. But you know what I find really interesting is it's men who are largely the more romantics out here. They want a woman to love them for them and to fall in love with everything about them and blah, blah, blah. Gentlemen, let's be totally realistic here for two seconds, okay? You really want a woman to love you for you, but you hate yourself? I mean, let's just be real here. You don't like yourself. And even if you do, you're not satisfied with who you are. But yeah, you want somebody to like you for you, help you. You want a woman to help you build yourself. You want a woman to come out here and help you become Chad, become not, you can't become Chad, but become a, the best version of yourself to become a winner. Why would a woman come out of, why would a woman, instead of choosing a winner, choose a, a, a build a bro, a build a man? Why would she do that? I don't blame her for not doing that. I blame you for being beta. I blame you for being weak as hell. That's what I blame. And if you don't like it, go ahead and cry and turn my turn my show off. Go ahead, find a dude who's gonna go find another gym bro on the internet who's gonna tell you if you go to the gym uh, and you have a job that you deserve some pussy. It's not true. It's not true. I, hey, I realize I'm being very straight up honest with you right now. I get it. You're not happy. Too damn bad. 
Go ahead and be sad, be depressed, be unhappy. Go ahead, see if I care. I'm out here trying to find people who want to win, not people who want to be out here and just barely skid by. I don't, I don't get to the point where I am today to appeal to Skidmore Row. I came here to get up to the Hamptons. That's where I'm going. I don't know where you're going. I hope you're coming with me. But if not, feel free to go and uh, find the skeezers on the street corner, man. Go ahead. Be my guest. If you want to listen to advice like this, listening to your girlfriend, uh, seeing her for who she really is. So in other words, they want you to love them for them, but they'll only love you for your money and your family and your status. But they want you to love them. for uh, Gentlemen, let's get one thing clear. One reason why relationships are ruined is because you feel the need to validate your woman no matter what she does, and she can just treat you like trash. Women are not to be pleased. I don't say that because I want you to mistreat women. I say that because let's look at things from an objective perspective for a second, okay? Let's say you are in a relationship with a woman, right? And she says that she wants you to be more caring and thoughtful and spend more time with her and make time for her. Okay. And then you do those things, and then she's complaining that you're around too much. You're not ambitious enough. You don't have as much drive. In other words, you give them what they want, they then complain that you gave them what they want, and they want something else. It's a moving target. That no matter, no matter how many times you hit the bullseye, the, the target keeps moving. It's like trying to kick a field goal, but the, the goal posts keep moving. And you're like, how the hell am I supposed to aim this kick if the goal post keeps moving? That's where we're at today. And that's another reason why relationships are ruined. And so guys are saying, you know what, forget this. I'm going to be a, a biblical bachelor. I'm going to go solo. I'm going to go on my own. I'm going to stop dealing with this crap. So they're either going to find anime girlfriends or they're going to go uh, go on the leasing route or they're going to just be alone, which is fine. There's power in being alone. I always find it funny when women try to shame men into relationships by saying that you're going to you're going to grow old and be lonely. Being lonely as a man is not a weakness. It is women who need men to validate them as women. Men can be validated by women if they choose to be, and to an extent, it can, re it can reaffirm what your version of yourself that you have in your head, but you don't need that, in my opinion. Does it feel good? Yes. Do you need it? No. It is a woman who needs a man to validate her as a woman, not a man to validate himself as a man to a woman. Not, no, it's not the same. But gentlemen, look, I understand why this trend exists, but this is not the solution. The solution is not to have someone meet you down where you're at. It's to claw and fight to survive and become better. That is the solution. The solution is not to be beta. The solution is to be alpha, to be a sigma, to be out here and become the best so you can then say you deserve the best. Because people will challenge you. It all depends on how you respond to being challenged. That's the real mark of a man. But gentlemen, how are your relationships in your life? Hopefully they're good. But I'm curious, what do you think? Are relationships ruined? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Or go on over to my X page. At Sheep Get Sheared. And let me know what you think over there. But gentlemen, until next time, God bless you, God bless your families, God bless America, I'm out of here, peace out.